Hello everyone, welcome to this demo on how to turn in work for the class Photo 160. Um, I'm currently in the view uh, as a student, so what I'm looking at is very similar to what, what you all will be looking at when you log in onto Canvas for this particular class. Um, I have some links here on the top that you can download. Um, there's uh, using Canvas, document, syllabus, class handouts, and research handout. There are some calendar and announcements right here, right up when you log in. This is for important things that I want to communicate right away when you log in onto Canvas. Um, so as soon as you log in, there will be some announcements here. If there are no, no announcements, don't worry. That means that there's no announcements for that week. And right underneath is going to be the schedule. Okay. Um, the things that I want to cover besides turning in assignment is announcements. Um, if there are any announcements, I will send them through here so you, everybody will see it. So this is the main source of communication is going to be through announcements. So make sure that you always look into this to see if there's any announcement. Now to turn in work, you're going to go right here on the assignments. I try to simplify it as much as I could so that way you guys can access it quickly. So if we're doing a lab or a project, it doesn't matter which one it is, you're going to go under assignments. So once you click on assignments, you will see the upcoming assignments. If you scroll down, you will see the past assignments. Okay. So I want to um, point out a couple of things. When you see available uh, until, that means that the, the lab or the project is active right now. So that means that you can turn in stuff. Um, the, ones they, the, the ones that say not available until a day, that means that they're locked. You can't turn in anything. And I do that because some labs are required to be done on the class. So if you're in the class, then they'll be open. Um, I'll have a time that is when the class starts and that's when they will be open and they will close by the end of the class. Uh, for projects, I do have um, the due dates a week before usually. So that way you have that week to upload it if you want to before class starts, um, but they will close um, by 10 a.m. because you're expected to have the work turned in um, by the beginning of the class. Um, now, the labs, as I mentioned, are going to be turned in in class. So if you go here, I'm going to do a little sample on how to do it. It doesn't matter. It's the same for both. But if you go to lab week six, I'm going to click here. And once you go to that lab, if it's open, it will have the documents that you need to turn in the lab. So I divided this lab of week six by different themes that we're going to cover. We're going to cover burning and dodging. And I have two images here that you're going to do. Um, I have mass layers where two images that you're going to combine, um, tools and selections, and there are several labs that you're going to create. And then lastly, combining images with mask. So these are the images that you're going to need to create the labs. Okay. So these are the things that you have to download. So they're links. So as soon as you click on them, it will automatically download the file. Okay, and then you'll see the image. So those are the documents that you're going to be working on, okay, for your labs. So they're going to be active right here. Now you have to download it to your computer. You're going to open them in Photoshop and you're going to be working on them. And then you save it, similar to what we have been doing before. Now the only difference is how you're going to turn it in. So once you're ready to turn the labs in, you're going to click here on Submit Assignment. So you click here. And once you click there at the bottom of your screen, it's going to appear a little window. That's the one that you're going to be using to turn in your work. So under file, you can choose file. There's two tabs right here. You can upload from Google Drive. Um, for this class, probably you're not going to be using that because you're going to be working in Photoshop and you're going to save the files to your computer. Uh, so it's not in the cloud. So you're going to be using the file upload um, to do that. You're going to go here under File, Choose File, and you're going to navigate to your desktop or whatever it is in your folder, hard drive, and then you choose it. Okay, so once you choose the file, it's going to appear here. Now, as you notice, there are multiple labs. So it doesn't matter if we have multiple labs, you're just going to keep adding them here. So you have to make sure that you have the correct amount of labs for this day. So you add another file, you can add another file, so you can add as many as you want by clicking this add another file. Okay, you can also put some comments if you have a question about it or you want to add something for a particular lab, you can put it here. Once you're done, you can submit assignment. And it's going to take a little bit because it's loading the image. So don't get panicked, particularly if you have multiple ones. Um, it will take even longer. But 
the thing that you want to pay attention to is on the right, right here, it says submit it. Okay. So it tells you the date, the time, um, you can download it to see that it was the actual one that you wanted to submit it. And the one thing that I want to point out, you can resubmit as many times as you want during the, while the assignment is active. So if I click resubmit, I can just upload another file. Okay. So I want to point that out that it's not like a lock once you do it. Okay. Now, you, if you have multiple files, it will appear here. All right. So as, mo as many files as you upload it. So that's the way of uploading um, for the labs and for the projects too. For the project will be a similar way. So I'm going to go to assignments and I'm going to go to GIF right here. And you can see that this one is a project. It's not a lab. So this one has the rubric of what I'm looking at um, for the project. Now you're going to go, there's no files because this one you're going to make it on your own is with your own images. So you go to submit assignment and you do the same thing. You look for the file and you click on it, you choose it, and then it will be here and you have to submit it. Once you attach it, it's not done yet. You have to make sure that you submit the assignment. Once you click here, then you will see once it's uploaded on the right, the top right, right here. So boom, there you go. Submit it. Tells you the time and everything. So that's the way that you're going to submit your assignments, okay? And the labs. They're all going to be here. So the third, I put try to move it all the way to the top so you can see it quickly. Okay, so you're going to go all the way here. Click assignments. And then once you do that, you can see, you know, all the upcoming labs and assignment. Okay, so that's the way that we're going to use um, Canvas right now to turn in work. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is r rodriguez at glendale.edu and you spell that r-r-o-d-r-i-g-u-e-z at glendale.edu thank you very much hope this was helpful um, you can see it as many times as you want make sure you pause it and you see clearly how i'm doing it um, but if you have any questions feel free to email have a great day